Let's see today's delicious Goan sweet of Goan mandos. Super simple, guys. So now here I've taken one cup of uh, rice. I'm adding it to a bowl. And now we got to wash this rice really well, thrice under water. Now I'm just showing it to you, uh, you know, in a, over here. So just squeeze the rice. First, you'll get a very murky kind of water like this. So just discard that. And then as you wash it, you know, thrice, you'll get a much clearer, uh, you know, water. You can use any rice. And now after I uh, kept the water, I'm going to add three cups of water and I'm going to uh, keep it aside for at least eight hours. Now after eight hours, we're going to drain out all the water from the rice. Now I'm going to add, now we're also going to be requiring one cup of freshly grated coconut. Now I'm going to add two tablespoons of sugar and a pinch of salt. I'm going to add these ingredients to my mixer pot or mixer jar. And we're going to grind this using a little bit of water to make a nice fine paste or batter. Now I'm adding the sugar because I'm using organic chogri. If you ha get your hands on goa chogri, there's nothing like it, then you can skip the sugar. But I'm using organic chogri, which is not very, very sweet. So I'm adding a little bit of sugar. So if you're using the goa chogri, you don't need to add the sugar. Now I'm just going to add a little water at a time. So I've totally used about half a cup of water. And we're going to grind this to a very, very smooth batter. So our batter will look like this. So I'm just going to transfer this to a bowl. And then we have a few more ingredients which we need to add. So this is our batter. So now to this batter, just give it a, a small mix or a whisk. Now first I'm going to add one teaspoon of cardamom powder or elaichi powder. I've just taken about four small elaichis and pounded them in my mortar and pestle and whisk it well into the batter. Now I'm using one cup of organic jaggery because it's nice and dark and also good. Uh, in uh, taste but it's not very sweet that's why I added the sugar like I said if you're using goa jogri then you can skip the sugar now first mix it in well now we want all of the jogri to dissolve really really well so I'm going to get my hands in and I'm just going to you know dissolve all the jogri and then you get this dark batter if you're using the goa jogri you'll get an even darker color now I'm just going to add about one fourth cup of broken cashew nuts. Now prepare your steamer at this time and put in enough water because we're going to steam this mandos for 45 minutes. So I've taken my cake tin and I've just greased it with a little bit of clarified butter or ghee. Pour in the batter. And now I'm going to steam it for exactly 45 minutes. So see that you have a lot of water in the steamer. Keep checking. Your steamer shouldn't dry up. And after 45 minutes, your mandos is all ready. Just take it out of the steamer and set it aside to cool completely before we demold it. Let it cool for an hour at least. And after an hour, just run your knife through the edges like this. Put a plate on top of it, overturn it, just tap it down a bit. You can actually you can feel the mandos you know slipping down easily. And see the cake tin is also nice and clean and it's all ready. So now you can just cut it up into any desired shape. The Generally they cut it up into long rectangles like this which I'll show you. So use a very sharp knife and just slide it down like this and like this. And then you can just shape it up and that's it.
फ्रेंड्स लेट्स सी टुडे इज लवली गोवन क्यूकम्बर केक और ताउसिया छे मांडोस इट्स सुपर इजी नाउ हियर आई हैव टेकन 1 कप ऑफ राइस वॉश्ड इट थ्राइस वेल अंडर वाटर एंड नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सोक इट इन 3 कप्स ऑफ वाटर फॉर 2 आवर्स एट लीस्ट दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू सोक द राइस फॉर 2 आवर्स सो जस्ट कवर इट एंड सेट इट असाइड Now I've taken uh, uh, four medium cucumbers. I'm just showing you two, but I've taken four medium cucumbers. Wash them really well, and I've also peeled them. Then I've cut off the tips and do a taste test. And if the cucumbers are bitter, then please discard them. And now we're going to cut them lengthwise like this. And with a spoon, I'm just going to scoop out all of the center. That is the seeds, etc. We're not going to use that. so you can uh, you know put this in your plants etc don't i mean don't throw it into the garbage you can put it in your plants just a small tip here and then i'm just going to roughly chop up the cucumbers and i should get about 1 cup of these chopped cucumbers now you can use any cucumbers i got my hands on these otherwise you can use the dark green ones or whatever you're really used to using and now once i've done that i'm going to add the cucumbers to a mixer jar along with 1 cup of desiccated coconut now you can also substitute it with fresh coconut i like the taste of the desiccated coconut in this cake so i'm using that and now i'm just going to grind that to a very fine paste now after 2 hours the rice has nicely got soaked so i'm going to drain out all the excess water and i'm going to add this to my mixer jar and i'm also going to be adding One cup of grated jaggery. Now you can use any jaggery, the Goa jaggery or the light, uh, you know, uh, coloured jaggery, whatever you have at hand. And I'm going to just add about one fourth cup of water to help the grinding process. And we're going to grind this to a very, very smooth and fine paste like this. So you can transfer that to a bowl too. And now we're going to make the batter for this cucumber cake. So into a large bowl, I'm going to add both of these pastes that we ground just now. To that, I'm going to add half a cup of clarified butter or ghee. So I've just melted the butter, the clarified butter. Now, in the meantime, just preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. Now I'm going to add one teaspoon of elaichi powder or cardamom powder, as well as about 10 to 12 chopped up cashew nuts. and now you just have to mix everything really well together to get a nice batter mix this well so that the elaichi or the cardamom powder also gets nicely mixed up with the rest of the ingredients and now i've just lined my cake tin with some butter paper and i'm going to pour the batter into this cake tin now this is a 7 by 7 round cake tin Then just give it a gentle tap, and now you're going to put it in your preheated oven and bake it at 180 degrees Celsius for 45 minutes. Now, after 45 minutes, we're just going to do the te test to see whether the cake is ready. So I'm just going to insert a knife into the cake, and if it comes out clean, that means it's ready. If yours doesn't come out clean, just put it back into the oven and bake it for about another five to ten minutes. And once the cake is at room temperature, we're going to demold it, take off the uh, butter paper. and i'm just going to turn it over to the right side and there your beautiful cucumber cake is ready so now i'm just going to decorate it with some cashew nuts so i've just taken the cashew nut cut them into halves like this and decorated the cake you remember we also have cashew nuts in the cake so it makes it all the more better And that's it, guys. Your lovely cucumber cake is all ready. So just dig in and enjoy. So friends let's see today's goan moog god share it's very very simple 
So let me take you through the ingredients. Now here I have one cup of cooked moo. I will uh, leave the instructions of how I prepare it. Half a cup of grated jaggery. Now here I'm using guar jaggery or jaggery. One four teaspoon of cardamom powder and a little bit of salt. Just about a pinch of salt or a quarter teaspoon of salt. And this is half a cup of coconut milk. I will leave a recipe of how I make my coconut milk at home. Now I'm going to add all of the ingredients to a pan. Now for this moo, what I've done is I've just uh, you know. Uh, wash the moog really well and then soaked it for about uh, four to five hours even more than that and then just pressure cooked it on one whistle on high and then simmered it for about five minutes and then let the cooker cook and then your moog is ready now you can also use sprouted moog for this recipe but i'm just going with regular moog so now you're just going to mix everything till the mixture thickens this is an lovely evening snack it's so healthy uh, it's made with jaggery and moog, so it's really, really good. So do try out this recipe, guys. So friends, let's see today's Goan sweet of mangane. Very easy and very good, very healthy. This is half a cup of chana dal, which I've soaked in two cups of water. After washing it well for at least one hour, I've soaked this chana dal. So wash it well and soak it. This is one fourth cup of sabu dana. Again, I've washed it and soaked it for one hour in one cup of water. So now the chana dal has nicely swelled up. So has the sabu dana or the sago. Now we're going to add this dal to a pressure pan, and I'm going to cook it for two whistles on uh, you know on high, and then simmer it. And then we're going to mash the dal very coarsely. We don't want a paste. There should be some pieces of the dal. Then I'll need some small coconut strips. So I've just taken a sharp knife and I've just taken out strips like this in this manner. This will just, you know, add some kind of crunch to this uh, sweet dish. Take care of your hands when you're cutting this. So in this way we get these pieces so when you have just broken the coconut this is the best time to do it before you start grating it now this is my thick and thin coconut milk which we will be using for this recipe so now what i've done is i've just grated one medium sized coconut and then i'm just going to add that to my mixer jar with one fourth cup of water, you can even use warm water. It fastens up, hastens up the process. And then I'm just going to use a colander or a sieve on a bowl, and I'm just going to keep straining the coconut milk. Now, the first coconut milk that you get is called the thick coconut milk. Later on, what you're going to do is you're going to keep the coconut milk separately, and then what you're going to do is you're going to keep on adding little water to this uh, remaining pulp that you have, and just keep grinding it till you get, you know, finally are not able to get any more juice out of it or any more milk out of it. Then that is your thin coconut milk. So you just add little water at a time, grind it again, repeat the process, and you get this thinner version of coconut milk. So this is how you make your coconut milk at home. Now, if you're buying store-bought coconut milk, you can use just one type, which is the, you know, just mix that powder into warm water, and that is the coconut milk you can use. So now we have both our thick and our thin coconut milk. So now let's continue with the recipe. The thin coconut milk is a little watery, the thick one is a little bit dense. So now I've just grated some zyphal or nutmeg on my grater, about half a teaspoon. And I need half a cup of grated jaggery and about five or six cardamoms. I've just crushed them. So now we have all our ingredients. Let's make this healthy recipe. So now I'm adding one, one fourth cup of water to my already cooked and mashed up dal mix the water in well. Now the flame is on low to medium. Now we're going to add our nutmeg and elaichi powders to bring out the real, you know, lovely taste of this recipe. Mix in these powders well. Add the jaggery or the gourd. 
Now, if you get your hands on Goa, Jagri, uh, well and good. I couldn't get my hands on them because I live in Mumbai. But whenever I go to Goa, I always pick up a good quantity of Goa Jagri. And now we're going to drain the water from the sago or the sabudana. Add that. See that your sabudana is soaked really well for a long time, and it's nice and fluffed up. It's absorbed a lot of water. Mix everything nicely. See that all the jaggery is nicely melted and dissolved in this mixture. I'm just going to add one turmeric leaf that I happen to have, you know, in my garden, which was growing. So I just could pick up one of them. Although these grow only in the monsoons, but I had them at hand, so I took took one of the leaves. You don't have to, but if you have access to it, then well and good. Mix everything well. It just adds a very nice flavor to this dish. This haldi leaves, haldi or turmeric leaves. And now I'm going to add the thick coconut milk first. Mix well, and then I'm going to add the thin coconut milk. So this is a very healthy recipe. There's no flour in it. There's no sugar in it. Just healthy ingredients. And then I want to add some cashew nut pieces just to add that lovely extra crunch along with the coconut pieces. I'm going to add and make this in a heavy bottom uh, pan. I'm making it in my pressure pan itself. And now you can just taste and see if you need to add more jaggery, a little pinch of salt to balance out everything. So I'm adding just a pinch of salt. When you add salt to a sweet dish, it brings out the flavor. So mix everything nicely. Now I'm going to add the thick coconut milk. Sorry, I added the thin coconut milk first, and now I'm going to add the thick coconut milk. Sometimes I do get confused when I'm doing a voiceover. So uh, this was the thick coconut milk. So this will give it a nice creamy texture. And now just once it comes to a boil, just put the flame off. And now we're going to add these lovely coconut pieces. And your lovely mangane is all ready, delicious. And you know what? These authentic and traditional recipes, I just love them because they're so easy but yet so delicious, so simple yet so delicious. So if you all also have any, you know, authentic. Recipes handed down from generation to generation. Please send them to me on my email or in the comment section. I would love to make them and show them on my channel with your permission, of course. So try out this recipe, guys.